And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Congratulations, the final two. Good job. Thanks. One of you will become the executive chef of my new restaurant here in LA. But first, your final and most important test. <gasps> oh! Holy shit. That scared me. Oh, Jesus. We're now going to divide the restaurant in half. Petroza, yes, this will be your side. Uh, yes? Uh, 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 uh. Christina, this will oh, be your God. side. I've never seen my face 20 feet long. It looks so angelic. <laughs> this is just incredible. You will each create your own dream restaurant. This is a wonderful dream come true. I, I'm just blown away. Your restaurants will go head to head against each other, and I will find out who is the most talented chef. Now, first thing in the morning, both of you will be meeting with the designers to start creating your perfect restaurant. Start thinking about your winning menu. This is your chance to show me really how good you are. This is so cool. The decisions are in our hands and it's gonna be awesome. Oh my God. I've been working in restaurants since 1998. So I've been looking at recipes and cooking them and changing them and so this menu, hello, it's easy. It was hard for me to you know, focus on my menu. I don't know why. I make menus all the time. It's nerves and it's fatigue. <sighs> I'm gonna go lie down. All right. I'm exhausted. Congratulations, Christina. You too, Bean. After a long night, Christina is still hard at work. And with a new day, the hard work is just beginning for Petroza. We're getting down to the wire. We're getting close. I'm having a tough time with my menu. To be honest, there's nothing done yet. Hey, Bird. I'm really confident about my menu. I'm gonna go all the way. Hey. Hey, P. How's the menu coming? All right. How about you? I think I've got it locked. It's 36 hours until the doors of Hell's Kitchen open, and Petroza still has no idea what he will be cooking. But that's not the only challenge for our finalists. Nothing in Hell's Kitchen is easy. For the first time in this entire competition, we get some say in how our dining room looks. I just have to give it everything I got. Now the stakes are high. It is really exciting. I can't believe that all, all the changes that are gonna take place to this restaurant. I'm gonna just focus. Hopefully that's gonna take me to the finish. <sighs> to help the chefs realize the vision for their restaurants, they will be working with Hell's Kitchen designer, John Janovs. Tell me first what your menu is, because I always think the space should reflect the food that you're serving. Uh-huh, it is. You know what it is? It is relatively rich. It is um, sweet breads, forest mushrooms, you know, which warm. My mouth is watering already. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. My main idea is for her to keep it simple, but elegant. I wanted to use like, warm colors, rich chocolate. I do have really strong opinions about what should go on in a restaurant, what should go on in a dining room. My two least favorite things about this space right now are the carpet that's ugly and the olive green booth. I love the booths, and I love the, ta the tables just down the middle. Definitely like the stripes better. It's gonna give it some texture and movement, but not too much like a floral night. I love flowers. I'm thinking flowers, I'm thinking candles, I'm thinking comfortable. Instead of just flowers in the middle, maybe do something. Maybe uh, a, a group of arrangements. Yeah, almost things lying on the table. Well, that's was... an interesting idea. I like the masculine thing, but I like flowers, like lots of flowers. I think I've got a lot to work with. Yeah, I've got good. a lot to do. I'm concerned for you. I'll see you later, good luck. While the design work begins in the dining room, Jean-Philippe helps the chefs choose a look for their wait staff. Model. Uh, 
Are these all my options? Tell me what you like. I was thinking simple, plain, black suit, black t-shirt underneath. I don't want vibrant. I love the celadon green. It makes me comfortable. I feel like we could like bridge the gap between the kitchen and the dining room. And my least favorite is the chef jacket. I hate that. I don't think it belongs on a wait staff. Don't you think personality is an asset in the restaurant? Personality it, it, comes from within, not from your clothes. If you're really fancy, black for sure, we do it. I like the chef jacket idea. I like the celadon green with the black. And all the best to you. Thank you very much. With uniforms selected for the wait staff, the chefs are now ready for the final and most important element. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Creating their menus. I just love sweet breads. Okay. I love Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass. Delicious. It's one of my favorite things to put in my mouth. I've got my work cut out for me. There's a lot going on that's going to be tricky. Talk me through the rest of the dishes. Okay. I think you're, you're going off a little bit here. Two app, two fish, two meat, and then dessert. I actually took a lot of consideration in my menu, and I think all the dishes are strong. I've seen a lot of frickin' food. I've worked at a lot of different restaurants. I want the menu to be comfortable and approachable to right, people, and I don't right. want them to pick it up and go, what the hell is this? I love a roast duck. You're talking about roasting a whole duck? Yeah. Soy, ginger, sesame. Oh, well, if you like it that much, I think you should just do it. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Entrees. I thought I would do like a dry edged New York strip steak, grill it. For my other one, I was thinking about doing a pan roasted monkfish. I'm really confident about my menu. I fully believe that my menu is better. There's entrees. It's a nice menu. I've got a dynamite menu going on. I'm pumped up, I'm psyched. Petroza, Christina, Gordon would like to see you in his office urgently. He does. Quickly, let's go. Upstairs? Yes, hurry up. Scared, I've never been up. We've never been in Chef's office before. That's sort of scary. Right, sit down, both of you, quickly. Okay, how are we? Very Good well. Chef. Nervous? Excited? I'm nervous. You are? Yeah. I've got some serious concerns about your restaurant. Okay. It's the menu. He doesn't like the menu. And I don't know what else I've got. I just need to know if I've really made the right decision. I've been wondering if I have the right finance. Now I know I do. Oh, 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 old, his heart can't take it. <laughs> I thought Petroza was going to flatline. I really did. One of you is going to become the executive chef of my new restaurant, the London at West Hollywood. I can't think of a better way to introduce you but to show you one of my other restaurants. So, if you'd be so kind, you're going to get your bags packed. We're flying off to New York City. Holy shit! Hurry up, we're leaving. Ready? Yes? Okay, okay. Uh, hurry up! Oh my god! I thought he was gonna bring somebody back! <laughs> what the heck? Madros is old, so I can't take it. I'm thinking the same thing. Oh my god, this is too much. This is crazy stuff now. Hey, what do you say we uh, jump on a plane and fly to New York? All right, let's go. I'm definitely excited to see Gordon's restaurant in New York City. Oh my god, I'm elated. While Christina and Petroza are on their way to the airport, the construction in Hell's Kitchen kicks into high gear. Excellent. Chef? I thought we were traveling in style. How are you, my darling? I'm good. I'm this is much better than good. commercial. Off we go. Petroza. Hey, chef. Look how clean you are, buddy. How are you? Get up those stairs. All right. The plane awaits you. Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe this is happening. I've catered for people on private jets before, but I've never been on a private jet. Well done. I'm so happy both of you are here. Thank you. Petroza, you're one of the bravest chefs I've ever met uh, to feed uh, me uh, that uh, pumpkin. Uh, uh, uh. What in the fuck? Happy Halloween. So what's the dish called? Hen in a pumpkin. I'd like to stick your fucking head in there, you know that. Christina, on your second service, you were close to leaving Hell's Kitchen. Everybody was intimidated by your intelligence as opposed to your cooking. I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I am intelligent chef. I will get better and I will fight for it. That's why I should stay. 
Shoza, you were so close to quitting. I was thinking about going. I was down. No, I'm done. No, 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 come on, come on, put it down. No, I'm Chef done, Wanchi. man. Chef Wanchi, he's that right out there. It's okay, come on, let's go, get it together. Pull, pull your jacket, come on, let's go. I'm good. Wipe your fucking eyes. You have to be the all-time messiest, dirtiest pig ever in Hell's Kitchen. Petroza! My God. Stop working like a pig. Yes, Chef. My filet is up. Absolutely beautiful. I don't give a fuck if you work like a pig from now on. Your meat's been excellent. Yes, Chef. Christina, you've broken a record inside Hell's Kitchen. You're the yeah. all-time challenge winner. Nine times. I thought it was 10. <laughs> the winner is Christina. Christina. Christina and Petroza, there are only two votes separating the winner. Christina, well done. Oh. As a reward, we're going to Beverly Hills. Oh, oh lovely. A helicopter awaits us. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> Photo shoot with In Touch magazine. This is like the Thank best you. reward ever. Nine times. Oh, I wanted to win. Intimidated? I don't think so. Christina's pretty good. I've got to take out the big guns. Everything Petros has got, it's got to go into it. Everything, everything, everything. Win or die, win or die. That's win, win, win. We'll see. I'm very confident walking into this. So let the best person win. And that's me. <laughs> Competition is healthy. It makes you better. It has been a long road to the finals and a long flight. Welcome to New York. But Christina and Petroza are energized upon arriving in New York City. I love the city. We see the New York City skyline and we really have no idea where we're going. Yeah, I've never seen anything like no. this. You look out the window, you just see the big buildings. It was exciting. Got some adrenaline pumping. I'm ready for anything. Okay, guys, I want to show you something. Thank you very much. Let's go. What an exciting place to be. Right smack bang in the middle of Times Square. You can actually feel the energy here. Wow. We're in Times Square, and there's lights everywhere, and people everywhere. New York City has a very special treat for you both. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, Look at that. My God. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Unbelievable. I never in my life would have expected to see something like that in Times Square. It's surreal. On the back of that, I've got something really special for you both. It's not here in New York City. Both of you are going to Dubai at the Hilton Dubai Creek to eat oh in my, my restaurant God. there oh and to spend five God. fantastic nights there. Awesome, but here's Dubai. Also, you'll get to spend one day observing in my restaurant up there. It doesn't get any better than this. It seems like just a week ago, I was in Charlotte catering. Next thing you know, here I am, in New York City with Chef Ramsay. Back in the limo, let's go. Uh. OK, let's go. Welcome to the kitchens of the London NYC. Wow. Fast, vibrant. LA's kitchen is going to run very, very similar to this. Okay. okay. Josh, two seconds. As my uh, executive chef, okay. uh, get to know Josh very well. This is Christina, Hi, Josh Emmett, nice and Petroza. How do you do? Nice, nice to meet you. you. Josh, have we got them? Good. If you're both going to cook like executive chefs, you're going to dress like one. Christina, yes, my darling, that's Thank yours. You. Petroza, that's Thanks. yours. Coming to London, New York today definitely did inspire me. And I could see myself working for and with Chef Ramsay. Right, one last thing. Your final challenge. You're going to cook your signature dish right now. Yes, yes, Chef. I'm the challenge queen. I'm kind of on a roll here. Ten challenges, that would be good. Petroza, please keep it try clean. to keep it clean. <laughs> yes? Off you go. I had no idea we were going to be cooking. Well, you know, lead me to the kitchen. This is what I do. I'll just go to it. Petroza is preparing his filet mignon with caramelized onion risotto in a red wine aged balsamic demi glace. I want to be the best. I want to be a star. I wasn't going to be a great lawyer or a great doctor. And cooking, that's what I know. Nice. My signature dish is unbeatable. I got a lot going on here. I'm making pink brushes. Can't wait to see it. 
when I saw Petrosa's stupid fried onion paintbrush, I was like, ah, man, I'm gonna wipe the floor with Petrosa. Christina is grilling her dry-aged New York strip steak with herbed compound butter, sweet corn succotash, and roasted fingerling potatoes. I've only got three years of experience, but what I think tastes good, most people agree with. I just love fresh, clean flavors. My dish wasn't complicated, and it's pretty. Good. Surprise. Because who wants to eat something that looks like slop? I get this one in the bag. Last minute. Three, two, one. With their cooking now complete, it's time for the finalist signature dishes to go head to head. Ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Kitchen finalists, Christina and Petroza. Up, let's go. Now, for the judges, please welcome five of the best and the most sought after palettes in the world, yes? I thought the five best palettes might have something to do with like food critics. All my executive chefs from the restaurants around the world. Oh, wow. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Up. I really wasn't expecting it to be Gordon's five executive chefs. That's crazy. Amazing, amazing. The first chef to receive three votes will win the challenge. First up to judge, uh, my executive chef from Gordon Ramsay at Claridge's in London, Mark Sargent, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh my god. This is definitely kitchen royalty. The kings of chefs and the chefs of kings. It's grilled filet mignon, an onion risotto, and a little drizzle of uh, some aged balsamic vinegar on the bottom. And it reminded me of a paint. I, I put together a little paintbrush from a green onion and some leeks. Mm. Flavors are very good. Rice is cooked nicely. I'm not too sure about the paintbrush, though. Bad idea, Petroza. Really, really, don't do that. We should have just left that off, really. But yeah. overall, very nice dish, yeah. Chris? Yes. Christina, yes. describe the dish, please. So we've got some fingerling potatoes and New York strip steak. And then we also did a succotash. Mm. Good meat, nice and tender. When you slice meat like this, right. quite nice to finish it with a bit of rock salt afterwards. So therefore, it's a touch bland. All together, you know, a lovely dish. Which dish do you prefer? But I think I'm going to have to go for this one here. The Trojas. The Trojas. Congratulations. One nil. Good. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Cold, cold. I got one anyway. Our next judge, her restaurant is called Cello, and it's in Boca Return. Please welcome Angela Hartnett, ladies and gentlemen. The Trojas dish. Beast nicely seasoned. Tastes good, and the risotto, you've done that very well. Seasoning-wise? Too sweet for me. Needs more salt. And Christina's and New York strip? I would not have put peppers with pancetta and Brussels sprouts. To me, they're totally different seasons. Um, taste overall, I'd say it's slightly drier the meat. Could be a bit moister and a touch more salt. Uh oh. But looks great, you know, the flavors are all there. Which one would it be, Petroza's or Christina's? I'm going to go for Petroza. Petroza. Congratulations. Huh? Congratulations. Damn. All I need is one more vote out of three chefs. I mean, I got a pretty good chance. Our next judge, he is the executive chef of the Boxwood Cafe in London, Stuart Gillis. Petroza's dish. Uh, I love the presentation. Clean, simple, you know, it's nice. Mm. It's a little bit one-sided for me. Slightly sweet, kind of the same flavor for me. It's not developing. And Christina's a New York strip. The, the red peppers, I'm a little bit dubious about that. But I love the fact you've used Brussels sprouts, the sweet corn, with the succotash and the mushrooms. Which dish? Would it be Petrosa's or Christina's? If you choose Petrosa's, excuse me, um, it's all over. To be honest, yeah, Christina's dish works better. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Stuart. Still in there. Excellent. Good there. 2 1 to Petrosa. Our next judge, the executive chef of Gordon Ramsay at Royal Hustle Road in Chelsea, please welcome Simone Sinoni. Petrosa's <laughs> dish. Coming from Italy, you know, when you cook a risotto, you use it, you use it as a starter. And in here, you kind of like turn the risotto a bit around it just to fit your, your dish. Mm -hmm. And Good for point. me, it's not really what it should be. Give me a break, you ding dong. Beef and risotto doesn't work? Why, because great grandpa never mixed risotto with something else? And uh, we got Christina this year. It's a very nice combination of flavors. It works really well. Which one would it be, Petroza's fillet of beef or Christina's New York strip? 
Um, honestly, uh, I think I will go for um, Christina. Christina, congratulations. <laughs> She's going to do it again. She's going to get me again. It all comes down to one deciding vote. My executive chef here, Josh Emmett. <laughs> Petrosa's dish. Risotto, nice. I prefer it a little bit wetter. It's a little bit stiff for me. There's not enough moisture through there. Uh, a little bit of seasoning on top of the meat wouldn't hurt. But overall, nice, I think. Mm -hmm. And Christina's a New York strip. A little bit of garlic, is it? Or garlic there herbs? There is a little bit of garlic, yes. Yep, which is nice. Beautiful, adds flavour to the dish. Mmm. The seasoning is great. Josh will be overseeing uh, the London West Hollywood, and one of you will be working with him. The final judge, being our future boss, was a little intimidating. Will you choose Petrosa's dish, or will you choose Christina's New York strip? I think there's good elements to both dishes. I love onion risotto, so I'll go with Petrosa. Petrosa! Time! Ah, yes! Ah. I needed to win. I needed to push it over. It was starting to be painful. Holy cow! Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Now, as always, um, yes. an exciting uh, reward for winning the challenge. Yeah. Not used to it. I'm picking your team for your final dinner service. You get to choose first from all the contestants this year. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a very important win. Not only do I get to pick the first chef, Christina has to pick the last chef. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give up for Petroza. Even though I lost the challenge today, regardless of who he has on his team, they still have to cook his food. My menu was designed better. Now, there's a really big fan of Hell's Kitchen that wanted to be here today just to say good luck to the finalists, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Whoopi Goldberg. Ah. Oh, great, 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 great. Christina. And Petrosa. Oh, Wubby's come to wish you both good luck ahead of the final. Hey, bud. Hey. I'm very excited for y'all. Whoopi, thank you so much. Yes. OK, Petrosa, Christina. Time right now to get back to Hell's Kitchen. Move your ass. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen. Bye, you guys. Woo. Bye, everybody. While the finalists were away in New York, major progress has been made in their dining rooms. And with less than 24 hours until opening, Petroza and Christina are about to get a look at the restaurant of their dreams. Wow. Oh, boy. Why is it white? Or not. The first thing I saw walking in were those white window treatments. And then the fucking stripes. I hate them. That's not what I imagined. Yeah. Wow. Wow, nice. Let's take a look. What do you think about the, the darker maroon? I like the maroon, it's rich. They work very nicely with the brick. I couldn't believe like all the bricks you know, that they did, and it looks beautiful. We've got quite a bit of work ahead of us still. We, yeah. We're just starting the wallpaper. Yeah, I see, it looks good though, I like it. The fireplace is great. Yeah. The problem is that it's way out into the room. Christine, My come side. here, because what I would like to do is to take the center portion of this wall and push it your way. Are you kidding me? Offsetting it a little bit will provide a little more variety down that center line. Okay. I think it kind of sucks to have Petroza's restaurant encroach upon mine. Fine. Fuck it, we'll deal with it. Let's talk about the stripes first. So what do you think? I didn't know the wallpaper was striped. I definitely like the stripes better. Both the samples we looked at were striped. Oh, they look so ugly. I hate it. It's not good. It's really, really not good. The stripes are like my biggest concern. You know, like with the window frames and then white and then blue, it's like, ugh. Wow, look at your stuff. <laughs> this is it, this is it, and Christina is very upset. That's good for me. I had no idea I was gonna be striped. Oh my God, it's freaking me out. Oh, I feel ill. I want to vomit. Not having that control makes me crazy. I don't like it. In my head, I've designed my dream restaurant. 
and I don't like the work that's been done. So they need to fix it. There's just a lot of stripes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we can paint over it. What if we did the insides chocolate brown, and then like the outsides, the latte color to give it that contrast? Okay. All right, let's go with that. And I think that we've sort of hit a good medium. If I worry about it, I'm not going to sleep. Then what good am I? Now we've got an ugly dining room and a sucky kitchen. Let's at least get something right. After a long day, Christina and Petroza try to get some much needed rest. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep. The anxiety and the anticipation is killing. Finally, it is the last day in Hell's Kitchen. But for Christina and Petroza, it's much more than that. It's taken all my life to get here. If I win, this would be the most successful thing I've ever done. Oh. Finally! Petrosia. Get it. Both your butts down here now. Yes, Chef. Bye. Chef Ramsey, both down there now. It's down to Petrosa and I. I like those odds. I want to get in the kitchen. Let's go. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. OK, quite honestly, one of the most important nights of your entire cooking career. But let's be honest, you can't get there alone. Both of you need your brigade. Yes, Chef. Yes, absolutely. So, here they are. Welcome back, Bobby. Hey, Chef. Look at how cute Bobby is. How you doing? Bobby? Can someone get a grip in here? We correct the problem, chef. Put some burgers on. Put your head down and cook. Welcome back, Ben. There's the man. How are you? Good, chef. How are you today? Yeah. Oh, fucking no, you've taken it easy. Are we done? Because if we're not, I'm going to complete my station tonight, chef. Shut it down! I knew it. I personally want to be on Petroza's team. I want to make that guy win. Christina, I really don't give a rat's ass about it. Corey. Dave. How are you, Corey? Good, thank you. My first nominee for strategic reasons is Christina. My second nominee is for personal reasons, and it's Jen. OK, the gloves are off. Matt. How are you, buddy? Great, Chef. Migraine. Come here a minute. Let me just tell you something. You've got a migraine. I've had one ever since you I walked know, in I here. I know, Matt, migraine gone. Migraine gone. <laughs> Lou Ross. Lou Ross. Never short of style. <laughs> make it look sexy, guys. Let's make love to it. Let's make love to the fish. Jen. Hello, Chef Ramsey. How are you? Just great. Why are you sending me John Dory now? I didn't bring my John Dory up there, Chef. He brought the garnish. Don't shout at me. Hey, Jen. Hello. Hello. Jen. Yes, Chef. Your face is down today. What's the matter? I'm here. It's definitely rough coming into this competition. I'm far superior to any other other competitors, and my goal tonight is to make Chef Ramsey second guess the fact that he got rid of me. Okay, tonight's a big one. Both Petros and Christina will be depending on you all to help complete their dream. Their fate lies in your hands. Petrosa, you won the challenge in New York, therefore you get to choose first. It would really set me back if Petroza picked Corey. Corey and I really sort of bonded and came together. It's nice to have somebody strong like that back you up. Choose wisely. I'm gonna take Bobby. Bobby, excellent. Bobby's a rock star. He was always there for me. Yeah, I couldn't take the chance of not getting Bobby. That Christina, are you ready for your first choice? Oh, I'm so ready, Chef. Corey, come on over. I'm definitely Christina's backbone in the kitchen at this point. I'm going in there, I'm getting the job done. Okay, Patrice, are ready for your second choice? Yes, Chef. Why have you chosen this person? He's talented, he's strong. Who is he? Ben. Ben. <laughs> good to see you, pal. Good, good to see you, man. Second choice, Christina, is who? Well, I'm gonna pick Lou Ross. I need some energy, I really do. Well, you've definitely got that in Lou Ross. Well done. So, the last two left. Jen and Matt. Petroza, your last pick. Think carefully. I hope Petroza picks Jen. I mean, Matt, I can work with, but Jen's attitude is a detriment, not only to me, but to the rest of the team. Big choice. I really don't want Matt on my team, because I, I really don't need to hear his mouth. I don't need to hear any whining. But Jen has a problem accepting any kind of criticism. This is a tough decision. It's like the lesser of two evils. Who's it gonna be? 